Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to create a circular spring using Creo Parametric. So, let's create it by clicking a new part and then click the default template and enter the part name as circular spring. Click on OK and select the unit as MR minus part solid. So, now switch on the datum planes. So here I am going to sketch the top plane with the reference of right planes, sketch it, go for the sketch view. So here I am going to draw a circle with a diameter of 500, then click on OK. So now I am going to sweep it, go for the sketch and go for the sketch. So here I am going to draw a line here from here to here go for the dimensions, select this line and this center line and you enter an angle of 25 and select this edge and this edge and I need this value to be a value of 65. So now I am going to create a relation here for the for the springs we have entered the diameter as a radius here and we have to create a hole for the spring. So now let us go for the tools and select the relations and select this as D5. So, I am going to enter the relation value, I am going to enter T R E H J into a value of 360 degree angle and I am going to enter the diameter of 50 and click on OK. As you can see here our circle is got created here, now click on OK, go for the sketch and give OK, it will show like this. Now allow the sections to change it. As you can see here, our vertical sweep is got completed. So now, I am going to save this. So now, I am going to create a sweep here. So now, go for the sweep and select this spring and go for the sketch and go for the sketch view. So here, I am going to draw a circle as a radius diameter to be a value of 10. Now click on OK. As you can see here our spring part for the one single side is completed. So I am going to check it. So now I am going to repeat this process for the above side. Go for the sweep again. So select the center spring and click allow section to change. And go for the sketch and go for the sketch. So here I am going to draw the circle with the same dia with this reference. Now click on OK. As you can see here no change has appeared. So now we are going to change a selection and change. Now you can see here our spring part is completed successfully. Now click on OK. So now our spring part is successful. So now I am going to hide this sketch and hide this sweep. So now you can see here our entire spring with correct dimensions. So now let us go for the appearances and I am going to give a metallic color for this. Select the entire part and click on OK. Now I am going to hide this all datum planes and now I am going to click shading with reflections. As you can see here our spring part is done successfully. So sorry for this nice guys. So everyone are celebrating the Diwali festival. So I can't edit this noise. So I will change it in the upcoming videos. So thanks for watching guys. So if you want more videos related to mechanical engineering or any other content, you can comment below. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video guys.